we got the skeleton spawner somewhat done. It looks more complete, but it still needs a final touch. And um, yeah, it looks really complete on this side. But if you go over to the other side, yeah, it's not so complete as that side. And that's because those andesite alloys, which is one of the main ingredients to making these uh, beautiful andesite casing, is really expensive. So they're kind of expensive and I don't have any more andesite and I almost don't have any more iron either. So we need to make something like a miner or something to just mine a bunch of blocks for us so we can easily get uh, the resources that we need to build such things things okay so for this miner that we're gonna build in today's video and yeah we need brass for to make that which is a a pretty annoying process because it requires a lot of things that we don't have mainly this blaze burner yeah that means that we're gonna have to go to the nether today and for all the skeleton farm i've made a pretty good bow it has power up five punch one and unbreaking two so we need we need arrows of course of course we need arrows for a bow and one weird thing that I noticed was that I got a lot of these quivers, which it's kind of like storage for your arrows. So yeah, I don't know what what that's from. It's from supplementary. So we're just gonna take all of these arrows and can hold up to six stacks. Wow. Yeah, we are never gonna run out of arrows. <laughs> like this is absurd. We already have twelve stacks of arrows. And there we go. Now we have our blaze burner. That's everything we're gonna need. Let's just go in. Okay, I just remembered that I might need to get some extra shields. I just don't want to lose a shield. They are literally lights lifesavers. Now is the time that we actually go in and actually explore the nether. Now let's just move out and see if we can find that nether fortress. Okay, I'm pretty sure that the hawklands hate these mushrooms, so I'm just gonna take these in case I encounter one. Okay, and while we're here, we can. Oh, do you mind? While we're here, we can just nap. Oh my god! We <laughs> weren't happy with that. Okay. Apparently, we can mine gold around them. Okay. So I hear a hawkland. That's not good. Yeah, there's a bunch of hawklands down there. That would be so annoying if it was to fight all of them. Because they hit hard and they're hard to hit, so let's try to see if we can. Ooh. Uh, want to try? Yes. No. Oh, it's that's not a basalt delta. That's a soul soul sand valley, I think. Oh my God, that's a bastion. Nope, we're not getting anywhere near that. Oh my god, they're filled to the brim. Okay, I just want to get the achievement, so let's just go down here and get back up as quickly as we can. Okay, yep, let's go away now. What's this guest's hitbox? Yes! Is that how can I not find a single single another fortress it's not because I moved far but I don't want to move any farther okay, now we're entering another bio that's always something oh we found it we found it let's go oh yeah I can hear them I can hear them oh my god what did I just get hit by oh my god, oh my god. There's a place. Get away. Oh! And the little skeleton skull just completely sacrificed himself. Can I just do this? Yes! Oh, danger avoided. Danger avoided. Danger avoided. Okay, so that. That's the most important part done. We can actually go home if we want to now, but we can fight some wither skeletons and stuff. I also have looting nothing on, so the chance of me getting a getting a, oh my god getting a wither skeleton skull is very low. You know what? I'm just I just think we're gonna yeah go now. I don't really want those wither skeletons skulls either way. Wait, before we go, we can quickly just try and trade with these 
piglins. Oh, we got some ender pearls, and now there's three down there. Let's see what that uh, enchantment book is at. Oh, that's actually shown to be three. That's amazing. And we're actually home now. Let's go. Yippee. And if we couple this blaze burner with a basin and a mechanical mixer, we can make brass. And it's actually not that bad. Mechanical mixer and a basin. Just need some more andesite alloy. Okay, so now we can make the mixer. We just need that. And then underneath. Yeah, and right now it's very little and sad. Feed it a little bit of wood, it's gonna get bigger. Put a cock next to it. There we go, now we have the mixer moving. So all we need to do now is to heat it up and get some how do you, some zinc and copper. So we just put down a bunch of copper and a bunch of zinc. It should start mixing. Or what? Oh, it's just gotta be heated, okay. There we go, now it's nice and uh, nice and heated. But why do you not uh, do anything? Speed requirement. Oh my god. Like that, like that, and like that. It, oh yeah. Oh, we're actually getting... Actually getting brass, let's go. So the audio clip for this recording was very bad, so I'll just give you a little quick overview for what happened. So we made a miner, um, and it can mine uh, by, all by itself, it's very nice. And I took it down to the mines and um, we made a giant we made a giant tunnel through a bunch of caves and stuff and it looked really cool. Okay, so now we're back for a little mining trip or not. It, it was not really us in mine, but uh, it was this miner. Now I can see how much we actually got from it. Okay, so let's see. We got a lot of stone, yeah. And we didn't even get that much and we only got a stack. It didn't really go how I thought it was, but um, I got a lot of stuff. Okay, I th now think we need to finish this build. It's just been placed here and it, yeah, that doesn't really make sense. You know, there are some things here that the whole other side of this is not even textured correctly. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do that now because it kind of looks lifeless, you know. Just gotta get some character. Can it make it? Can I? Oh my god, I was six off for making it. Okay. There we go, now we have the entire build finished. Um, and now we just need like the main decoration part. And for that we're gonna need a bunch of boom blocks, which we are gonna get from this, but I don't even know if, this, if it's enough. And yeah, you probably guessed what I'm going to build. I'm gonna build a giant skeleton on top of this, um, on top of this build. But it's not gonna be like standing or anything. It's gonna be inside of the build. So there's gonna be a little a head and um, popping up, and some arms popping out, also some legs. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven stacks of bone blocks. So. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Okay, now we have done with the first part of the builds, which is these legs. I already, I already have something to it. I mean, it already looks pretty cool. The, now we're going to the arms, and for that, build it like pretty realistic to a, a normal skeleton, like how a normal, how normal bones will work. Yeah, that's actually very nice. But maybe the hand is a little. Maybe these need to be a little like more out, maybe. But very nice. Now we just need the other hand, and then we need a little head that pops out. And we have our skeleton form. And there we go. Now we have the head. I'm actually quite proud of this because, yeah, well, this was kind of freestyle. I did have this on a uh, on a creative world, but I didn't really, yeah, I didn't really use it like one to one. But it actually came out quite nice. This looks um, very nice. 
I love it, I love it. Okay, let's use all these experience levels to enchant something and hopefully get a feather falling. Five or four, whatever it is, the max would be a lifesaver to get feather falling. Oh, we got it on a book. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. If we do this, feather falling four. There we go. Let's just enchant them together then. Feather falling four. Oh, that's gonna be nice. That is very nice. Protection four, unbreaking three, and feather falling four. Okay, so we can make a portable storage interface which will transfer items from, like any storage items from this contraption or from any contraption in that matter, and put them into like a chest or something. And I think I want to do it for this one and for this one and optimize the this one, uh, the tree farm here because I constantly need, need to go up here and place some more saplings. There we go. Okay, so now we need to... Can we close this? Yeah. And I need all of these destroyed except for one. And I can put all these here. And so there's just enough for every single type of sapling. So that's actually very nice. And you know what? The jungle is okay, so we're gonna do that next. And then we're gonna have the have the cherry blossom. Okay, and then we for some extra we can just do that. And oh my god. Um, and then we need the fun part, which is this portable interface. Oh my god. Place correctly, correctly this time. There we go. Like, maybe to the side here, we're gonna have another one. Oh my god, this this skeleton farm looks goofy from the from the front. That is almost terrifying okay, so we're just gonna put an andesite alloy there and then dried kelp and then we're gonna have this andesite funnel which is oops and these funnels are very good at like obviously in this um, an andesite funnel isn't as good as filtering items as a brass funnel because an andesite funnel doesn't have a filter and a filter is like yeah it's what can pass through or cannot pass through for example, here the Chloris filter is a spruce, because that's the little icon here. And so it can only get equipped with spruce locks or spruce saplings and so on with all the other deployers. So, um, yeah, but I think that's actually it. Now we just need to start it up again. So let's do this and let's see what it's going to do. Yeah. Now we don't need to go all the way up to the farm, we can just go all the way there, and then it can be a much more storage. Okay, now that we have this storage thing, I don't think we should just leave this hanging, because it looks kind of, yeah, just weird that it's just standing there, or just, it's not even standing, it's floating. So we might need to do something with that, <clears throat> you know, let's make a little rim around it. Okay, now we have a little rim on it, and I think... But I think we should make, um, maybe put some stone in there, and then I think we should cover it up, or um, put some, put some, uh, some azalea leaves, or some kind of like foliage on it. Um, I think azalea because these look kind of like dead and orange, and they don't really look so alive compared to the azalea leaves. So I think we're just gonna stick to those. Yeah, there we go. Now it's fully finished, I would say. Now we have a bunch of storages and it can just, oh, it's already filled up. Yeah, I don't know if we're ever gonna use all that, but I'm just gonna leave it running. But um, thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you in my next videos.